How about now? Testing, testing. One, two, three. There we go. Lot. Yes, I love how you the live or yeah, <laughs> you're helping. I was helping. It was like the technical difficulty screen, except I didn't have time to draw you as a monkey. Check it out. I've got a camera you could actually see me on. Yes. Weird, isn't it? Look at the channel scroll, people. It's all going to be OK. No, they freak all going to be off. OK. Unclench. Un everything, everything will be OK. We will be here to talk about naked people in Florida and everything will be OK. I assure you. So how have you been this week? Um, OK. OK. How about you? Busy as a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. I see that. Two new videos. Two new videos and a new camera for the show here. Yes. Nice, nice new camera. That's right. There we go. Nice new camera for the show and a new camera for, for the other show and upgrades everywhere. Yeah, I saw the new episode with the new camera. That was pretty sweet looking. Now we just need to get you. And you all ran off into the ocean. We'll play that later, yes. I, ca I call that, that is my new philosophy, impractical effects. I build like a wall. To the ocean? Yes, and I build a wall to bang my head into impractical effects. It's a new thing. I like that when you put last week's live up on the website, you cut off the bit where I said that you did that because you were in the South and there was nothing better to do. <laughs> because I've already offended all of Australia and... You know, anywhere that anyone has an accent. So I suppose you were trying to save me, offending where all the guns in the country are. But you just went ahead and did it this week anyway, didn't you? You know what? I doubled the fuck down because <laughs> that's what I do. Oh, OK. Are you ready to do this? Because the first story we have this week going to piss you off. I, awesome. You, you probably know this is coming. All right, anyway, well, we'll see. Each week. Skip to the end. <laughs> I just got PM'd by Mike that we have no sound. Maybe we should do this whole episode in charades. Like, just put up the link and be like. Okay. Anyway. Elderly woman destroys 19th century fresco with do-it-yourself restoration. This is from Spain. Um... Yeah. Leave this shit to the professionals. Three separate. Or you will turn Jesus into Cartman. Three separate photographs of essay is how does it spell that? Essay homo. Eke. Eke, Eke homo by painter Elias Garcia Martinez showed extensive damage caused by an elderly woman who decided the masterpiece master masterpiece masterpiece needed a little refurbishment. By the time of, but in a time of austerity, rather than calling in a professional to complete the job, the unnamed woman attempted to restore the mural herself at a devastating cost. I'm going to put this up on the big screen because wowzers. Um, I mean, I mean, her heart was in the right place, but is that what she thinks Jesus looks like? No, I read something where she said it. She just got out of hand. <laughs> oh, really? Just kind of compounding the error. And I, I mean, I guess I can see that. And like, obviously, her heart was in the right place. She was trying to do a good thing. But some jobs you just got to leave to the pros. Like he looks like a monkey. Valuable pieces of art. You should probably just leave to professionals because damn. Monkey Jesus. I mean, who knows? Maybe Jesus went through a period where he got really depressed about the whole going to be betrayed and crucified thing and went to town on some ho-hos. We don't know. We don't know his life. I mean, there are big gaps in the Bible. Oh, God, I'm seeing. So I am seeing the Cartman Jesus, thing. Jesus could have had a fat period. We don't know. I am seeing the Cartman thing. Yeah, I am. So I'm maybe seeing. she actually had like a vision. Maybe she had an apparition and. 
painted the American Jesus. See him on the interstate. Or maybe this was just a really stupid fucking idea. Maybe that. Maybe she should have just turned the art over to a professional restorer. I know rudimentary bits about cars. I know enough to appreciate things that go into a car. I know enough to understand the basic workings of a car. I would not take it upon myself to find an old car and try to rebuild it. Why? Because I would not know what the fuck I was doing. Sugar says the power of Babushka, Babushka Christ compels you. <laughs> it is. It's Babushka it's, Christ. It's like a nesting doll, Jesus. Maybe as they get... Oh my God, you could do like the 12 apostles. <laughs> <laughs> you like the 12 apostles and then the tiniest one would be the baby Jesus <laughs> that would actually be really adorable <laughs> oh god and really blasphemous but uh, you know. no it wouldn't be blasphemous what's blasphemous about that well, well that, that would mean that that uh Judas would have to go up Jesus's butt somewhere in there. No, that's not how babushka dolls work. Why do you no, have to it's make inside? Things but still, why do I have to make? Because it's more the like world is it's really more like Jesus ate all of them, which is bad <laughs> actually. Because we all eat Jesus, so it's kind of the circle of life. Actually, Let, let's move on before the show gets struck by lightning. Um, that that was a crime. And you're going to sense a theme this week because it's everything is crime. And oh God. Is that new for us? What? Is that new for us? These are kind of really, really, really bad. Okay. Um, like as opposed to driving your truck into a boat or shooting out the window of it? Because these were premeditated. Badly. Like shooting out the window. All right, this is Florida. Of course. Of course. Um, I take a drink. I have never comprehended the entire concept of the orgy. It is just, it's never clicked with me. Because it would just seem like, it, seem like, it seems like a bad idea all the way around. And you know what? Florida sort of proves me right. Um... Florida swingers orgy goes horribly wrong. Those are words you don't want to see together. Orgy goes horribly there wrong. There are so many ways. There are so many things that could mean. Oh, yeah. And the very first line, Brett, William, Brett Wilkins here reiterates, a Florida swingers orgy went horribly wrong when a jealous couple lost their cool during the carnal proceedings and proceeded to assault each other. Uh, the Hernando Today reports that uh, Tina Michelle Norris, 39, her boyfriend, James Albert Barfield, 56, were arrested while naked and charged with domestic battery following the aborted late night orgy at their home. Oh, come on, really? I know. Really? Aborted orgy, really? Shame on you. You were a Hernando. bad writer. Whatever. Norris and Barfield, both swingers, uh, brought. All other sexual partners home the wee hours of the Monday morning. Barfield was accompanied by other women, while Norris upped the ante by bringing home a pair of men. Temperatures and tempers rose as Barfield watched the two men pleasure his woman, and Norris saw another woman sexing her man. It wasn't long before the couple went at each other. He used, he used the word sexing? He used the word sexing. In journalism? In now? journalism. Really? It's a verb. Awesome. So, what happened was... They decided to have an orgy, and yet the actual concept of the orgy made them all angry. You should probably refrain from the orgy if you are the jealous type. You know if what it meant to be violently jealous to the point where there's going to be a domestic dispute. You should probably stay away from the group sex. Here's Just, the, the funny part was, did they not know what orgy meant? It was that was that the thing there? They, they did not know the 
orgy. They did not know what it, definition Well, apparently was. they did because they had the other people there. They just couldn't handle it. I, I didn't know that she'd be fucking other people. That's not cool. I, I didn't know that, that. Is that how this works? Well, you didn't tell me that, man. That's that's not right. Yeah, I can and fuck the other fair, people. Why is she fucking other people? That is not well, cool. To be fair, I feel like a lot of guys think that that just means that they get two chicks and don't really think about other dudes getting involved. But she also lost her shit. So, you know, I know it, it just people. Jesus Christ. If you are violently jealous, please just get a whole room full of real dolls. <laughs> if you want to do that, it's expensive, but not as expensive as a criminal attorney. Oh, uh, uh. The smell. No, the smell. You can, no, you can clean them. Uh, apparently, angry sex burns more calories. Apparently, so does beating the shit out of someone while naked. That probably burns more calories, too. Maybe that's why I've lost weight this year. <laughs> before the chat jumps on that comment um mm -hmm. so down economy people want things people want things they can't have so they come up with ways to get the things they can't have especially if you're young and stupid this guy kind of had an interesting intricate idea for a stupid reason this comes from texas houston Mall roof cut attempt to steal Air Jordans. Oh, he went all missing Mission Impossible on that shit. Houston police have arrested two teenagers after the roof of a mall was cut in an apparent failed attempt to steal Air Jordan sneakers. Greenspoint Mall was closed uh, when a security guard saw some people inside a shoe store and called police. Officers discovered the hole in the roof break in at the athletics shoe store investigators say two teens were captured at the scene a third youth escaped while trying to flee via the roof which is hilarious because it's a roof where are you going here's my thing like i work in a mall and i'm actually a little impressed by this because it's not like it's just a a, a roof and then bam you're in the place like there's a lot of shit in between roof and ceiling of store because there's like HVAC piping and all kinds of shit in it like that's that's not just like Wiley Coyote cuts a hole and, and, yeah, and I, is in the, like that took some doing I'll grant you that part took some doing and they, they planned that out meticulously and they cut that hole and they got, but once they got in they forgot the part about not being seen by security yeah, and exit strategy. Got to have an exit strategy. <laughs> they had this really smart part of the plan, and then the whole rest of it, not so smart. Like they only watched half of Ocean's Eleven? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is, what is Maybe that? they figured once they got the sneakers, they'd be able to just run really fast. Now that's not. Oh, what the hell just happened? You turned all green. You became the Hulk. Oh. I don't know what happened. That I became weird. She Hulk. You no. Yes. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, we have more. We Step have. Step one. Cut a hole in the roof. Step two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the way you do it. <laughs> so I don't know why that happened? I don't know whether this was just was dumb luck or just dumb. This is from uh, Port Charlotte, Florida. He had, in fact, stolen something. Did not get so far. Um. Man fleeing with stolen TV on a bike 
crashes into detective's vehicle. Charlotte County Sheriff's uh, deputies arrested a man who stole a television in a box from Walmart and fled with it on his bicycle. Arrested when he crashed into the back of a detective's vehicle. Uh, mall security called... On his bike! On his bike! TVs are fucking heavy, dude! I know! On his bike! It was a 32-inch TV. Exited the store, drove off with his bicycle. Right, well. That's a big one. Not a huge one. That's heavy! One. That's heavy, yes. Like, do you have a basket on that bike? I... Detectives uh, responding to another incident spotted Fontaine with the TV on his bicycle. One detective drove ahead of Fontaine. The other got around out of his car and tried on foot to stop him. Uh, Fontaine turned around to look at the detective chasing him. He was not paying attention and slammed into the rear of the other detective's vehicle. He uh, hit his head, but he was checked out by EMS. What are you snickering about? It's still not as good as the drunk driver who hit the giant drunk driving trailer. <laughs> it isn't, really. That, that was... <laughs> Irony. That's tough to beat. It was tough to beat. But yeah, it it I just <sighs> Was it I, I'm or... trying to figure out how one rides a bike while holding a 32 inch TV. Yeah, obviously his base premise was flawed just to start with. Obviously. Yeah. Getaway car. Getaway car. Obviously. Every movie. Transporter, I just found out Transporter 2 is not on Netflix, and I was very sad about it. Getaway car. Vroom, vroom. Not ding, ding. All I can think in my mind is Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Just the end sequence on, like, the vines and, and oh, flying over shit and stuff. See, now that's a bike. If you had that bike, you might have a shot. If you did, yeah, you might. Come on, stupid thing. All right. Um, hey, don't call me that. Not you. For having it. Live, everybody. Live, everyone. So, did you did you ever read The Far Side? Yes. My there favorite one is The mid School for the Gifted. Uh-oh. Are we going to The mid School for the Gifted? I'm so happy. That is that is my my favorite one too. Um, here we are. So yeah, um, being able to rob a place important. Oh, it's right up there. Being able to get out again, also important. Twenty-eight year old James Allen decided to rob a Martin's, a local news agent. This is in England. Um, beside the fact that stealing is wrong. For a couple of serious issues with James' decision that That's editorializing and it's wrong. Probably should have been addressed during the planning stages of the crime. Number one, James was a regular customer. Number two, he had attempted to rob it ten days prior. But he was undeterred. He approached Martins in a backpack where uh, wearing a baklava a balaclava? Balaclava. balaclava. Not baklava. Because that would be that would be pastry. If he was wearing baklava, this story would be taken to a whole new level. Yeah. Uh, he pointed a toy gun at the cashier, took approximately two hundred thirteen dollars from the till. He attempted to exit the shop, and oh my kids! I always love when I get to say this because we got video. Here he is. There he is, Robin. He's got his toy gun, attempting to rob a store. Now, he can't get out. He needs help. He's already taken his mask off. And he spills this. He's a regular at the store. How does he not know whether to push or pull the door? You, sir, are bad at your job. You are a regular at this establishment. Have they changed the door recently? No? Then what the fuck? 
you go there all the time. You should be aware of which way the door swings. And that's not even a euphemism. I wish it was. <laughs> And you tried to rob it before. Like you've you've been there before. How is this a mystery to you? And if you try pushing the door and it doesn't work, why is your first instinct to kick the fucking door in instead of try pulling? <laughs> when you push a door and it doesn't go, don't you try pulling it before you kick the fucker in? There, there was there's a reason that however you say that, there's a reason that Midvale School for the Gifted cartoon is a favorite of both of us. And you know why that is? Because we've both done it. Yes, but I didn't kick the fucking door in. <laughs> I went, oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. I should pull that door. Duh. <laughs> I have kicked the door in once in my life. Well, I kicked through plexiglass in my back door, but that was because I was holding bags of garbage and was too lazy to put them down. Not because I didn't know which way the door went. And was all like, or smash. No. If you push it and it doesn't work, just pull. If you're a regular at an establishment, you're trying to rob. Okay, well, our final... Have your exit, buddy. I'm at the whatever you say point, sweetie. Just whatever you say. Um, last one is from New Zealand, and um, you ever been, you ever have been hit with a breathalyzer? I never have. Have you? No. Apparently, it, people really don't like them. I've never had a problem with them. If I ever had to take one, yeah, sure, no problem. But people really don't like them, especially drunk people. Really don't. Well, like yeah, them. because they're gonna go to fucking jail. Well. <laughs> This guy, he, he, he kind of uh, made his displeasure a little clearer than, um, than normal. Uh, drunk driver pees on breath test equipment, but that's not even that's, the big that's story. Not, that's, that's not how it tests your blood alcohol level, okay? It's not a pregnancy test. <laughs> the little stripe's not going to turn pink for drunk. <laughs> pink for drunk, blue for sober. They don't, they don't call it a peelizer. That's not even the fucked up part of the story, however. A drunk driver who plowed into an elderly woman's home <gasps> was so intoxicated he urinated in a box of breath screening tubes at the police station. The actor, 26-year-old uh, Christchurch forklift driver Ryan Scott Thompson, a charge of willful damage on top of drink driving and careless driving counts, Thompson blew almost three times the legal breath alcohol limit after smashing into Don Sanders' living room, where she had been sitting moments earlier, just after 10 p.m. Pled guilty to all charges. This is his first parent in district court. Um, neighbors who uh, rushed to Miss Sanders' aid detained the grossly intoxicated but uninjured Thompson. Uh, after Thompson recorded a breath alcohol reading uh, that was three times the legal limit, police officer was completing paperwork when he heard the sound of running water. He heard to see Thompson, still seated, urinating into a box of breath screening tubes. Thompson continued urinating despite repeated demands to stop. Now, okay, on that one, stopping peeing is really difficult when you're sober. So, when you're drunk, that's just not possible. But so, is it? It's hard. You, you got to concentrate to shut that thing off. Oh, but uh, I'm just going to leave that one alone. I've done enough damage tonight, I think. <laughs> wow, this guy, this fucking this. What the hell? Well, first of all, that poor woman, like, can you imagine you're just chilling, watching a Golden Girls marathon, go up, get up to get some Cheetos and there yeah. goes your living room. You come back. There's a Chevy where your where your TV used to be. I mean, my sister ran over our front yard fence once when she was first learning to drive. We had like a chain link fence in the front yard and she ran that the fuck over. But she didn't make it all the way up the yard to the house. 
thank God, because I was sitting on the couch right under the window and she probably would have killed me. But that was jarring enough to hear the loud noise and all of a sudden be like, holy crap, we don't have a fence anymore. Instead, there's a Chrysler LeBaron there. I, was there drunk interrupt? Was drunk involved? No. No. Just new, new driver. But she also didn't respond to that situation by peeing on anything. I, yeah, that's why would you? Well, here's a question: Like, why was the box of strips sitting at that guy's feet? Like, shouldn't those be secured somewhere? Yeah, that, they were kind of asking for something bad to happen. Like, those should be somewhere where they can't be tampered with. Same with bodily fluids. Yeah, I, I love Good work, the, Gomer Pyle. I love the description in this the article that suddenly he heard the sound of running water. Could you imagine that? You're filling out the paperwork, then all of a sudden that sound. And what do you do? Like, seriously, what do you do? You're not going to approach that guy. No! Because if you get into an altercation with him, <laughs> he's, he's just going to start spraying all over. He's just <laughs> yeah. going to hose down the deck. <laughs> You're across the room. So at that with point... You're just going to let him fucking finish his business because it's better that he pees on the strips than that he pees all over you. You're across the room with an umbrella going, sir, will you please desist your urination? I would avoid using any words with a lot of S's in them, though. To try and get someone to stop peeing. <laughs> Like, you'd want to be like, halt. It's a nice hard sound. Doesn't sound at all like running water. So, what did we learn? <sighs> Leave Jesus alone. Let the professionals handle Jesus. Leave Jesus to the pros. At least pictures of him. The pros who handle Jesus' PR are kind of douchebags these days, but... Leave the pictures of Jesus to the pros. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Yeah. It's like you wouldn't just decide to rip out the plumbing in your local church and fix it because it needed to be done. Unless you were a plumber. You wouldn't try to sneak on board the space shuttle because, hey, that looks easy. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think some probably would. So, yeah, actually, yeah. I'm waiting for... Let's wait for that story. Fingers crossed. Um, we learned that just because you have the smart idea for the crime, the rest of the ideas have to be smart, too. One good just idea. Cause, just because phase one is great doesn't mean you're going to get to profit. Yeah, one good idea does not cancel out five stupid ones. It's not how it works. There's not a ratio there. It's get the whole thing. Um, we, we've learned that getaway car. Yes. Getaway. Cause... Hell, getaway motorcycle. Getaway chopper. Zed's dead, baby. Fine. If, but if it, no matter how many wheels it has, it should have a motor. You'll never it's catch me alive, copper. Yeah, that's and putting a putting a putting a card in the spokes does not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, we we learned that. And um, don't get into orgies if you're the jealous type. Yes, yeah, we we've learned that orgy. You need to learn to share. If, if you, sharing sharing means caring. Yeah, if if you didn't learn, go back and watch your Sesame Street before you partake in the orgy. That sounds weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't really remember the orgy etiquette episode of Sesame Street. Was that the pinball cartoon? The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 11, 12 penises. Is that what that was? <laughs> Is that why all the balls were flapping around there? Maybe I just didn't get it. You miss oh things when you're God. small, I guess. We learned um, that 
I'm sorry, Snuffleupagus. <laughs> we learned that doors have two modes of operation, and if one doesn't work... They do, in fact, swing both ways. Try the other. Also, don't take your fucking mask off in the middle of the heist. No! You wore that shit for a reason. <laughs> it's, it's getting hot in here, yeah. man. Calling my name. No! Don't call Mel's name and don't take off your mask in the middle of the heist. That's just rudimentary. And, and, and finally, I, I guess... Oh, that's about the electric company, not... not um, Sesame Street, my bad. Oh, well! Damn! And, and finally, we learned when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if he crashed the car and initially trying to find a bathroom. Was he trying to drive to the bathroom, you think? Because I don't it would think be it faster. No, because when you run over the toilet. Yeah. Although now I'm reminded of a Katy Perry parody that I'm going to have to look up for you. Oh, yes. The, yeah, well, yes. So that there is a Sesame Street orgy video. So that was. Uh, that happened. <laughs> Got some kinks to work out in the in the tech, obviously, but we will get it. Please don't say the word kinks after that set of stories. 